Queensland Police Assistant Commissioner Mark Condon has thanked the trucking industry for their work during the COVID pandemic. He's also given us an update on local police activities and shared important safety messages as there's more traffic on the roads as we see restrictions start to lift. Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Mike Condon from the Southern Police Region. I'm a CIS Commissioner and I have executive responsibility for 33% of the state uh, where my borders interlock with New South Wales and South Australia. During COVID-19, we've experienced uh, a number of challenges. Uh, in particular, the role that police have supporting police in the border operations. In Southern Region, I have uh, 48 checkpoints I'm responsible for, of which nine are 24-7 with the assistance of the Australian Defence Force and the officers from uh, main roads. Uh, uh, to date in Southern Region, uh, we've had sadly 28 persons have lost their lives on the roads. This is an interesting statistic when we consider during the COVID-19 period, there's been a reduction of the movement of traffic right across the country. Sadly, uh, we still see those involved in crashes, involved in serious injury and death, uh, are victims of uh, inattention, fatigue and driving under the influence of drugs and alcohol. We've had an enormous amount of vehicles on the road uh, since COVID-19 commenced, particularly in the heavy vehicle industry. They have been critical to maintaining supply in these very challenging times. Notable, we've had uh, three heavy vehicles involved in fatalities and at least one of those vehicles uh, has been decided as Unit 1, which means they contributed to the accident. So it's important that we acknowledge the great work that the drivers and the Australian Truckers Association and all the heavy vehicles have done to maintain supply across the state. They're an essential part of the business of keeping the state running, particularly in the food chain supply. I want to particularly acknowledge the driving behaviour of all truckies who went through our border points, the most notable being Gundawindi, where we had thousands of trucks per day. The speed in which you travelled through those checkpoints where my officers were working with the Australian Defence Force and Main Roads was critical to their safety, but you also set an example for others to follow. So I do acknowledge uh, the, your efforts and your attitude and driving behaviour during those checkpoints, particularly in the early hours of the morning uh, when it's been extremely cold, uh, the weather hasn't been good, and we've been able to uh, ensure that uh, we keep our people safe by the behaviour of everyone, but particularly the trucks when they're drivers when they're driving a uh, huge tonnage uh, through our checkpoint, sometimes at 10 kilometres an hour. So we've continued to see an increase on our uh, tra roads because the restrictions are slowly being wound back as we get more control of COVID-19 right across the state. So I think it's important to remember that we've had a, a little bit of rain. Our roads are slippery. In some areas they need repairs. So there's going to be more traffic on the road. There's going to be more trucks on the road and invariably there'll be more people seeking to move out back, such as the grey nomads and other people driving caravans and those people going on holidays. It's absolutely critical we work together. What we need to remember is that when a truck driver leaves a gap, that gap is for him or her to be able to slow the vehicle down effectively and safely so that that driver can work in and out of the traffic. It is not a gap for someone to fill. And that's what we see quite often. The second issue that's important to remember is that when you're overtaking some of these uh, big trucks, particularly those that have uh, single, triple, up to triple trailers, 
It's important that you remember that when you're overtaking, you leave enough space to get back in. Sadly, we've seen people overtake thinking they've got enough room to get past these large trucks. They get to a point where they don't have enough room to come in. They panic. They bring the car across, but they forget they've got a caravan. And sadly, those people have lost their lives in those sort of circumstances. It's very important that you drive to the conditions. Very important that you be vigilant in terms of when you're overtaking these uh, trucks and uh, particularly those that have uh, additional trailers on because they're obviously quite long. Uh, thank you for your ongoing uh, support of road policing in Queensland. Uh, thank you for the efforts uh, across COVID-19 and particularly your driving behaviour that undoubtedly has kept my officers and the associated resources on the checkpoint safe. And remember the uh, fatal five, drive to the conditions and let's all get to our destination safely so we can enjoy the time with our loved ones. Thank you. Authorised by Ben Maguire for the Australian Trucking Association, Canberra.